Oh, and two. Whoever came up with the idea of a night where you bring your dog to the ballpark. Where did that start? Was that San Diego? I thought the first one I ever saw, and I could be wrong, I thought the first one that I can remember was the Chicago White Sox. Oh, that would, that would be very believable. I there. could be wrong on that. But the Reds now have, what, four of them a year? And, uh, you know, Kroger is heavily involved. Himes, of course, local companies. Uh, the SPCA, Cincinnati, very, very involved. And they just do a marvelous job, and it's become a very, very popular series over the course of a baseball season. For those of you who don't know, uh, we generally do it during the week. Now, now, look, now look, look at this. His dog's like, look at that. It's like, you got to be kidding. Like, oh, wait a minute. He's looking at somebody behind him. There's a hamburger yeah. vendor behind him. That's. I mean, look at that face. All of them in the whole row. He's saying, no, 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 no. Uh, now gone. That's just not fair. Uh, even a scrap. I don't want the water out. Yeah. What happened to the beef? No herbivore there, no omnivore there. It is all about the beef. Now, are you feeding, you know, bubbles like, the, you know, in your diet? Are you mixing in, like, uh, cucumbers and broccoli and kale and all that kind of thing? She just doesn't take... Uh, what a surprise. Just take to that stuff. No. No. She would be very happy along with her... her sister, Rusty, if we started eating meat again. Now, now take a look at this guy. French fries, that, that's that's the second best thing to a hamburger, isn't it? Uh, they'll definitely look at his eyes. Yeah, oh yeah. 